Golf is about to be in full swing again. The sport has seen a massive wave of interest since the beginning of the pandemic. While most other activities were put on hold to prevent the spread of COVID-19, golf courses were able to stay open. Connor Blake says he's been golfing since before he could walk. At the beginning of the pandemic, it was more difficult than usual for him to find tee times due to the rise in popularity. Well, I think it just gave pe people a bit of peace of mind to be able to get out and do something active instead of being locked at home um, inside. So being coming outside, getting some physical activity, seeing people, I think it was really important for mental health and physical health. The track in Langdon changed ownership at the beginning of the pandemic. The fact courses would be able to operate normally was great news for the new owners. Uh, I'd say it was you know, a bit of a crazy mindset, but uh, yeah, it was really exciting. And once we learned that golf would be able to open, um, yeah, we were just excited. And then from there, kind of golf exploded. So, Staff at the track expect the increase in players to remain consistent. I think moving forward, we're still seeing that it's going to be very consistently busy. Uh, people have uh, invested in the game and invest and sort of found a passion for the game again and come back to the sport where over the last maybe 10, 12 years they haven't. So Courses like the track in Langdon are taking full advantage of the surge in golfers. The track opened last Saturday and most golf courses are set to open sometime this month. For State News File, I'm Gavin Miller.